Alright, let's see if Gray did it right. Hmm. Yeah, he seems to have done it. 217 yards by Gray. Let me try doing it. What I would highly recommend is that you take the ball back to the five yard line so you're safe from getting sacked. It could be difficult to do it from the actual one yard line. Let's do this. Run out of bounds on the first yard line. Run it back. Doesn't really matter what play you choose. Short ball, long ball, as long as you go to the first down marker. Didn't get it there that time, so let's do this. All right, get it up. First down. Let's run it back again. It's really quite a simple concept. You get negative yardage rushing. Well, you give yourself a chance for multiple yards passing. One Jared. Yeah. And out of bounds on the first one. I usually use only three plays pitch, toss, and toss. But you can pretty much use any running running play. Just be extra careful when you're hiking the ball and you're watching your QB, making sure that he's not about to get sacked. Make sure you know the play you're running. And then run out of bounds. Also, try to pay attention to the frequency that you call these plays. Oh, man, hope he gets this. And if you do throw it so deep, catch it deep, try to run it back as close to the first yard marker as you can. This way you'll get many more chances and stretch out this yardage. You don't have to do it like that, but I like to do it like that. So I try to maximize my yardage in one drive. Okay, come on, Devontae, hit it. Oh, got it off. Lucky.
Yeah. It's really simple. It's also really good to do this to practice your plays for head to head matches. Get to know the strengths and weaknesses of coverage and the plays themselves. Jared. Nice. What happened? That's too bad. Too close. Get countered. What did I get? 330 yards. 